Hello everyone. I am Dr. Shilpa Shri and welcome to my channel Study Management. In this video, I will be sharing some tips and tricks on how to crack UGC NET GRF exam. In any competitive exams, you will generally come across four different kinds of questions. One, extremely easy questions. These are the questions that are very easy and you're very sure about the answer. Two, moderately easy questions. These are slightly confusing questions, but at the same time, not very tough questions and you can solve it. Three, time consuming questions. These are doable, but time consuming and slightly challenging. These questions involve medium difficulty level. And lastly, extremely difficult questions. You may come across certain questions which are too difficult and you have no idea what the answer is. You need to remember students that competitive exams like NET not only test your knowledge but also test your confidence level. Therefore, you need to tackle these questions in a smart way and the following tips and tricks may prove to be useful. Tip number one. Attempt easy questions first. While answering for any competitive exam, don't follow the sequence. Don't be very rigid that only after I answer the first question given in the question paper, I will move on to the second one. Don't commit this blunder, students. Always attempt the questions first that you are very confident and sure. This will boost your confidence. It will also save your time. Some students have the tendency of attempting tough questions first with the thinking that easy questions can be easily attempted at the end. If you directly jump into the questions you don't know, your confidence will zero down and once your confidence is gone, then you will not be able to think about those questions that are easily answerable. You will panic and become tense and also tend to be restless. So always remember to attempt easy questions first. Once you have answered all the easy questions, next move on to attempting moderately easy questions. The best way to solve moderately easy question is by eliminating two options which have the least possibility of being correct. That is, out of the four given options, strike out two options which you think are not the right answers. For example, this particular question related to research aptitude had appeared in paper one of UGC net exam. The depth of any research can be judged by A, title of the research, B, objectives of the research, C, total research expenditure and D, duration of the research. Now, out of the four given options, you may strike out the third option, total research expenditure, and the fourth option, duration of the research, as both these options cannot be the probable elements that can determine the depth of the research. With the remaining two options, if you can put your mind to it and think and try to link or connect the remaining two options, then you will be able to solve it. Here, option A, title of the research, will give you a vague idea about your research and option B, objectives of the research, will give you a broader picture of your research work. So, therefore, out of the two options, the answer is option B, objectives of the research. So, in this way, by eliminating two options out of the four given options, will increase your probability in getting the right answer. Once you're done with extremely easy questions and moderately easy questions, then move on to solving time-consuming questions. These questions are solvable questions, but they involve a lot of time. These types of questions involve medium difficulty level as they require a lot of calculation work. Topics like mathematical reasoning, logical reasoning, data interpretation and reading comprehension are all time consuming questions. You can solve them, but you need to invest a lot of time in solving such questions. Tip number four, 
attempt difficult questions at the end if you come across a difficult question don't just keep looking and thinking at that question read the question think about it for not more than 20 to 30 seconds and still if you are not able to come up with the answer move on to the next question don't waste your energy and time on questions you are not sure about the more you try to think about it the more tension is created in your brain extremely difficult questions require guessing as you cannot solve it at any cost keep those questions at the end by following these steps you can avoid committing silly mistakes so therefore always solve easy questions first and then moving on to the moderately easy questions and then attempting the time consuming questions and finally attempting the difficult ones tip number 5 always read the questions carefully the questions in the competitive exams will always be tricky and confusing so make a habit of reading the questions carefully to understand what is required and also go through the options with more concentration sometimes you may also come across few questions that may consist of options having more than one correct answers this is because the examiners often try to trap the candidates by playing around the question and options so therefore you need to tackle such questions by being more cautious tip number 6 don't leave any question unanswered always make sure that you have attempted all the questions in both paper 1 and paper 2 one of the major advantage of ugc net exam is that there is no negative marks for wrong answers so you are free to attempt all the questions without any fear while giving online ugc net exam you can always make use of the question spell it displayed on the right side of the screen similar to the one you can see here in this picture this will show the status of the questions the red indicates the number of questions not answered while green indicates the number of questions that you have answered always recheck your entire answer sheet to ensure that you have check marked the correct option and there has been no misinterpretation of the questions tip number 7 acquire time management skills competitive exams are all about managing your time and efficiently completing the entire paper within the stipulated time duration always make sure that you allocate time for each section in the question paper this will increase your chance to score more marks you can acquire time management skills by being thorough with the pattern of the question paper and the topic covered in the syllabus i hope you have enjoyed watching my video thanks for watching and please do like share and subscribe to my channel